versus warfarin explained. These are both medications used to prevent new clot formation and stop the growth of existing clots. First, let's talk about routes of administration. Heparin can be given subcutaneously or IV, depending on what it's being used for. Sub-Q is given for DVT prophylaxis, where IV is used for acute treatment of a blood clot. Warfarin, on the other hand, is only administered PO or by mouth. It's used for long-term anticoagulation like patients with AFib or history of clots. Next is onset. Heparin works rapidly, meaning it takes effect in minutes. You can remember this by the memory trick, heparin happens fast, where warfarin's onset is slow. It can take 24 to 72 hours to take effect. You can remember this by the memory trick, warfarin, you have to wait. Now let's talk about labs. APTT is used to monitor the effectiveness of heparin, where PT and INR is used to monitor the effectiveness of warfarin therapy with INR being used more commonly. All right, let's talk about antidotes. The antidote for heparin is protamine sulfate, and the antidote for warfarin is vitamin K. Both antidotes are used during toxicity or overdose if the medication levels get too high in the body. If you want more clinical-based knowledge like this, you should check out the Clinical Pocket Guide for Nurses. It has over 300 pages of must-know content for simulation and skills lab, clinical rotations, or new grad nurses. You can find it on my shop nurse in the making happy studying